A new text and email line was already in the works for Voices Against Violence. But when the stay-at-home order was put in place, they decided to speed up the process so anyone who needed support had multiple ways of contacting them. Especially with COVID, uh, we knew that that wasn't going to be an option. Our hotline was not going to be an option. So that's kind of where we really, it really made us like push and, and like, you know, be a little bit more proactive about getting that information out there. Since the stay at home order was put into place, the organization has also seen an increase in need for support. Just people wanting general information about our agency, about what we do and how we can they, we, they can provide um, information to somebody that that they know is experiencing something. Um, yeah, we, we definitely seen an increase just all around. They say the main goal for the text and email line was to make sure their clients had a safe way of accessing these resources during a time when they would be quarantined with their abuser. The number one thing is just making sure that our clients weren't feeling isolated if they were already in an isolated situation, especially with COVID in place and the stay at home order. Um, there was even a more power and control there that an abuser could use. And the text and email line is helping them connect with a lot more clients. We often don't realize how how much something like this really is needed in our um, in our area. You know, for the longest time we've had the um, the hotline number, and uh, you know, like I said, we had our Facebook occasionally. Uh, but we definitely saw how much of a difference it is making. In Twin Falls, I'm Stephanie Garibay, Idaho News 6.